Hi, uh, my name is Sam, I'm from Brisbane, Australia, and I'm studying chemical engineering and commerce at UQ. I joined Intern Madrid two months ago, and I'm currently working here in the science part. I currently do lab um, specimen testing, method revision, and a little bit of R&D tied with my engineering trying to look at scaling up the process. My typical workday starts with me getting up at around 7, um, out of the door by about 8ish to catch the bus. From there, I um, enter the work, enter the office at about 9 o'clock and we work through till about 2, have lunch for an hour. Uh, during the lunch hour, uh, I sit with all, all my colleagues, both from the office and from the laboratory. Um, they talk me, well, they include me in their everyday lives, so they tell me about their family, um, what they do on the weekend. Um, things I should go see and then finish up at about 6.30. From that point, it's the same reverse back home. Uh, and then from that point, normally I get home, have dinner, and then about midnight, go to bed. A typical weekend day is very hard to find because you can do a lot of different things. Um, I've looked at doing day trips outside of Madrid. They're pretty cheap and they're very accessible and tour guides are in English. Um, you can go to flea markets on a Sunday morning. I haven't done that yet, but I will be doing it soon. Um, you can go for walk, I've been walking everywhere and it's probably the best way of seeing Madrid. Uh, and you can go metro jumping, which is always fun, go stop to stop and just see the city through that. That's always the cheapest way of doing it, especially if you get a month pass, which you will. Uh, yeah, but you can do pretty much whatever you want. Like if you're back in normal city, you can probably find exactly the same thing to do here, plus more. When I applied, I was unsure of which destination to choose because I've never left Australia before and I have no experience outside of the country. So I was luckily enough, lucky enough to get the help and experience of the people behind the phones to tell me which area would be best suited for my uh, job application. And luckily I got pointed to Madrid and I haven't regretted it since. On my arrival, I was nervous because I didn't speak any Spanish whatsoever, but luckily all my colleagues do speak English, so it was very easy to communicate with them. Uh, the best advice I can give for working in the science park would be don't bring too many formal clothes. I carried up to my weight in, in luggage, with half of it being formal clothes, and you don't wear it in the laboratory at all. First day was it, and then it's been in the cupboard ever since. Also, don't bring up to your lag baggage limit. It was my mistake because I've never traveled anywhere before and I was like, a few months, I'm gonna need my stuff. But make sure you leave at least five to 10 kilos so that when you, if you wanna bring something back home, like say you go shopping, which I'm not a big fan, but it's amazing here, you can do that too. Living in Madrid has allowed me to experience living outside of home by myself. I also, have felt like I've built more confidence in interacting with new people. I used to be very shy and this whole experience has made me talk to new people and make new friends, which has been great. I've been to Portugal on my holiday and the hostel experience in itself was probably one of the best times I've had in my life. Just meeting new people, which I would not have done back at home. You work hard, sure, but there's also fun at the end of the day. Like everything's organized for you if you want to do some things. Or you can take up a mantle yourself and organize what you want to do and just ask. It's very approachable and generally as an easy way to communicate to everyone what you want to do and then you can make connections that way as well.